What if I told you that I just created these Instagram reels without finding a model, picking up a camera, or even opening one editing program? Well, I just spent the past two days building this powerhouse of an AI social media automation. It makes me as many fully edited real estate Instagram reels as I want without a single human involved. And because I already did the hard work, I'm gonna show you how you can get it up and running for yourself in about 15 minutes. So if you love social media but hate making content, I'm about to show you how to create your own custom HeyGen AI avatar, use AI agents to manage your entire Instagram operation, edit all your videos for you, and create reels so good that everyone will think you hired an entire production team. If you're new here, I'm Mike. I've been working in AI for two years, and now I help real estate pros use it to scale and make more money. And if you want a killer Instagram page that actually gets you leads without the production headache, then I'm about to show you exactly how to master AI real estate content in 2025. So let's get straight into it. So as we know, creating content is one of the biggest bottlenecks for a lot of businesses who really want to get their name out there, start building trust, and really getting themselves out there without needing to run any paid ad campaigns. And if you know anything about content creation, then you'll know that short form videos like Instagram Reels, TikTok videos, and even YouTube shorts are some of the best ways to build a brand in 2025. Now in a second, I'm gonna actually take you through the entire automation that you see on screen right here to both create custom avatars for you and edit your entire videos for you so you can essentially have an entire production team in your pocket. And I'm sure you guys are really curious to see what kind of results this can actually produce. So before I create another reel live for you guys right now, take a look at these two examples that I created using this automation and let me know what you think. The ultimate LA question, a bigger house or the perfect location? Here's my take. You can always change the kitchen. You can even add a room. But what you can't change is your walk to that perfect coffee spot or the sunset view from your street. In LA, you're not just buying a home, you're buying a lifestyle. If you're trying to find the right balance, send me a DM. Let's figure it out together. Your home is basically a piggy bank, but do you actually know how much is inside? That number is your equity, and it's the secret key to your next move in the LA market. It's the difference between guessing and knowing the perfect time to sell or upgrade to your dream home. The more you have, the more doors open. Curious what your magic number is? DM me the word equity and let's find out. It might be bigger than you think. So I'm sure you guys are really excited to see exactly how this works. We'll create a brand new piece of AI real estate content right here on the spot. So what do you say we kick off this demo here? So first up, I have this entire system running out of this Google Sheet right here. Every time I fill in a new idea, it'll queue up the entire system where our real estate agent avatar is gonna be talking about the top predictor of home value in LA. So if we zoom in here, let's actually start this workflow and see how it picks up that new idea, creates our video with HeyGen, and then finally edits it, wraps it up, and polishes the entire thing so all I have to do is post it on Instagram. So this might take a little while, so I'll get back to you guys when we're actually finished here. If you're curious about getting ahead with AI but don't know where to start, I'm putting together a private community just for you. Inside, you'll find exclusive courses, Q&As with me, a library of AI agents you can use today, and and a growing collection of other resources that give you everything you need to start scaling your business and start saving five or more hours every single week with AI within about 90 days. If that sounds interesting, go ahead and hit my first link down below to get access completely for free. Or if you're a business owner or real estate pro and you're curious about adopting AI and ironing out your AI strategy without the headache, then hit link number two to book a one-on-one -on -one call with me and my team. Anyways, let's get straight back into the video. All right, so our workflow just finished. And while this workflow is set to save everything in my drive, let me throw the video up on screen right now just so you can take a better look at it. You think it's the view, don't you? The number one predictor of home value in LA isn't the square footage. It's the walkability. I call it the latte score. Can you stroll to a great coffee shop, a park, a hidden boutique? That's the real luxury. It's what separates a good address from a great one. Curious how your dream neighborhood rates? DM me latte score and let's find out. And just so you guys know, the whole latte score thing was completely made up by the AI. I didn't tell it to come up with that or to frame our Instagram reel in that particular way, but I just thought it was funny that it was able to come up with that analogy all on its own. But anyways, let's actually take a closer look at the system and see what's really going on behind the scenes here. So there are really two tools that I'm going to be using that are going to completely make this system a social media content powerhouse. The first I'm sure you've heard of, which is called HeyGen. This one allows you to create custom avatars and also use avatars that they already have within their program. As you can see, I was using this avatar right here that HeyGen already has built in. And in a second, I'll also show you how to create your own avatar for you or for another person that you'd want to feature on your Instagram account. And the second that we're going to be using here is called Submagic, which handles all of our AI video editing for us. This does everything from adding captions to putting B-roll on for us and even adding zooms to increase the engagement of our content. Now, if you want to try this out either within the API or just within their interface here to start creating some videos for yourself, then you can go ahead and use my code Mike10Off to sign up and get your 
myself 10% off of this service. And because I'm pretty big on video production myself, I could vouch that using Submagic and this N8N automation I'm about to show you guys will be able to cut your content production time down by about 95%. So if that sounds interesting, go ahead and check out Submagic and be sure to secure yourself that little 10% discount just to really boost the value that you can get with a program like this. I'm gonna go a lot deeper into both HeyGen and Submagic here in a minute once we start getting into the automation. But for now, just so that we can really start to break this down and show how it can completely change the way that you create Instagram Reels, let's dive straight into this automation and I can show you how you can get this set up for yourself in about 15 minutes or so. So first up, I have this set to a schedule trigger and for my particular setup, I have it set to run every Sunday. And this is actually when I'll be adding all of my new content ideas right here. So essentially every Sunday, this system will read my entire Google Sheet, see which ideas are new and then pick them up and then send them directly through this automation so it can start producing them into videos. Now you can set this to run at whatever interval you want to. And once you figure out when you actually want to have this thing running, I'm going to be connecting it directly into my Google Sheet, which is going to act as my content calendar. If you really want to get clever, you can also create your own AI system to generate these ideas for you based on your brand guidelines and what sort of content you want to be producing for your agency or for yourself. Or you could do it the way that I did, where I just input the ideas myself. Either way, what we're doing here is picking up everything that's brand new within this sheet. We're going to be transferring that info directly into this system here. And by the way, if you want to steal my entire template here, you can go ahead and sign up for my school community down in the description below. It's completely free. You gain access to this and a whole bunch of other AI templates, as well as a whole bunch of other material to help you either implement AI in your own business or learn how to master it and help other people implement it in theirs. So as I'm going through this, you can download that template and follow along with everything that I'm doing here. So after we've picked up all of our new ideas from within our content calendar, I'm actually including a condition right here that's going to be filtering out all of our new ideas. So as you saw before, every idea that has been created before is going to actually have the Hey Gen video link as well as a caption here. So what we're looking for in N8N is to see if that video has already been created. If it has, we're going to skip over that idea. But if it hasn't, then that means that we have a new idea that we're going to be passing into our AI system. And next up, we actually have our first AI step here, which is going to be our script writer. Now, this is something that I am going to be using a custom prompt for, and I'll take you guys exactly through what that looks like here. And again, I'm not going to get super in depth about what I've actually put in here because all of this will be available in the template if you choose to download that. But essentially, I'm telling the agent exactly how to write our captions here. I'm also giving it the context by passing in our idea from Google Sheets so that it understands exactly what content idea we're going to be basing this entire script on. I've included a whole set of instructions here about branding, about content, length, and even a little example script to give it an idea of what sort of style I'm really after for this brand and for the real estate content that I'm going to be uploading here within my Instagram Reels. Now, this is really easy to customize if you want to come in here and throw your own sample script in here to train this agent on what your style is. You can also come in here and change the instructions. You can change the length if you want to make longer or shorter videos. But essentially, everything here is ready to go unless you want to customize it for your own use case here. And now, once you have that taken care of, I'm actually passing through another AI step here, which is going to be writing our caption for the actual Instagram post. This is actually a Gemini step here. Now you can swap this out for whatever AI model you want to, but Gemini tends to be pretty easy to work with here. And again, this entire prompt will be within the template as well. So all you need to do is copy that over and all of this should be completely ready to go. Essentially, we're following a very similar structure that we followed in the previous step. I've broken this prompt into various categories, given it instructions on how to conduct the entire caption writing process. But the differences are that I have adapted the specific details within this prompt. So I instructed the agent on how exactly I want my captions to be written here. Over following the same step of passing the context through. However, this time, instead of just the content idea, I'm actually passing in the entire video script so that the agent gives us our best possible result here. And of course, I did the same thing where I added in an example caption here just for that little extra bit of context. But again, both of these prompts are really something that you can adapt over time and really keep an eye on as you start to create more content. It becomes a lot easier to see what works versus what doesn't. And at that point, it becomes relatively straightforward to A-B test different ideas and to adapt your instructions just to be better in line with what your brand is really looking for. So after we've actually ran those two AI steps, we're going to be jumping straight into how we set things up in HeyGen. And for this, what I've got going on here is an HTTP request. And all of this data is going to be tapping directly into HeyGen to actually pull in either an avatar that we make ourselves or an avatar that they actually have on file already. Now let me show you how to actually make your own custom avatar if you wanna go that route. Now you can create a free account in HeyGen and start going through this, but essentially this is what it's going to look like when you land on your dashboard. On the left-hand side, there's gonna be this little tab that says avatars. All you're gonna do is click the little plus icon right here. There'll be this little pop-up here that gives you two options for the avatar that you can create here. You can either use a photo avatar, which will turn a picture or set of pictures into your avatar for you. Or if you wanna gain as much realism as possible, you can actually create a digital twin 
which will not only clone your likeness and your voice, but it'll also mimic your movements to make this character really feel like you. So this is the one that I'm gonna be taking you guys through right now. Ultimately to handle this, you're actually gonna need a real video of yourself speaking for about two to five minutes. And you're gonna wanna make sure you're dressed well, make sure your hair is nice, make sure you're in a well-lit environment so that the AI system will be able to see what you actually look like. And they actually have a set of detailed instructions if you wanna dial this in for yourself. But ultimately having that quick clip of you talking will be will tend to be enough in most cases here. Next up, there'll be a little little Dropbox where you can actually drop in the footage of yourself speaking here or you can even record via webcam or your phone if you prefer to do it that way but essentially you're just gonna go through this process you're gonna create a brand new avatar for this likeness and you're also gonna have to do a little verification here to actually turn on your camera and microphone just to make sure that you're the person that you say you are and this is just for security purposes here and as soon as you're done with this step you'll be able to just review it and then you'll have your brand new avatar set to go here now if you don't want to go through that whole process there are plenty of avatars built into HeyGen that you could just jump in and start using right away. In my case, I was just using Annie right here for the demos that you guys saw. And this is essentially what I have set up in this node right here. Now you'll actually need to set up your API key for HeyGen here. Instead of using a header, I've set the authentication to generic, created a header auth, and then for my HeyGen API, I've just pasted it in under value. The important part here is making sure that you have x-api-key right here just to make sure the entire system works. If you don't set it up exactly this way, then you're not going to be able to get your connection going. Again, you'll be able to copy this JSON as well if you download my template. But in order to set this aspect up, there are three main things that we're really going to be passing in here. The first is going to be our avatar ID, which is going to be the exact avatar we're using here. The second is going to be our voice ID, which is the ID of the voice we want our avatar to speak in. And third is the input text, which I've pulled in from my AI script writer. This is essentially going to be everything that your AI avatar is going to be saying in your Instagram reel. Now, in order to find your avatar ID and your voice ID, I actually have this other node set up here that I was able to run. And this is actually another HTTP request to HeyGen. This is going to be listing all of the avatar IDs that are within HeyGen. So if you created your own avatar, that'll show up here as well. Otherwise, you'll have this huge list of every single avatar that HeyGen offers that you could just simply copy and paste into your new HTTP request. So the avatar ID that we just talked about here is going to be this first category right here. So if you wanted this first avatar, you'll simply copy this string right here and then paste that into avatar ID, which is going to be this category right here. And lastly, for your voice ID, you could come back into HeyGen here. And there's this little tab on the left hand sidebar again that says voices. And you can go through here and listen to all of these voices and see which one you want to actually apply to your avatar. If you cloned your own voice with your own avatar, that'll appear up here under my voices. And all you need to do is click these three dots here, copy your voice ID, and then simply drop that in right here where it says voice ID. And the same will be true if you choose any of these other voices. It'll be easy to just hit these dots and then just copy your voice ID from there. Now from here, I actually have a little feedback loop in here to actually check if the video is done creating. And what this does is it keeps an eye on the production process and it lets us know as soon as the video is done here without having to include a human actually looking over this process for us. So the second HTTP is actually going to be getting the information from our HeyGen video production here. And again, all of this will be set up within my template, so you don't have to worry about doing this yourself. You just have to make sure your authentication is set, make sure you're passing in your video ID from the previous HeyGen node here. So what we're looking for in here is our status, which you'll see right here. And in this case, since this video was successful, it was actually completed here. But throughout the process, there'll be various stages within the status before it gets completed here. So we have this little condition. If the status is still in progress, if it's uploading, then obviously we're not gonna be able to pass this on to the workflow, in which case we'll actually have to wait for, in this case, I set it to 30 seconds. Once that's up, we'll actually check our HeyGen video status again to see if it's finished. We'll be able to run through this loop as many times as we need to until our video is actually done here. Now, once we're all done here, HeyGen will give us a link to the video URL itself, which I'll then be dropping into my Google Sheet along with my Instagram caption so that that's all ready to go here. And for organizational purposes, I'll be uploading that video to Drive. Now here's the actual part where we get into Submagic. And in my opinion, this is one of the most impressive parts of the process. So if you guys haven't heard of Submagic, it's essentially an AI editing program that can do anything from creating captions, adding B-roll and magic zooms for you, to even clipping your videos and turning them into short form content. In combination with an AI avatar, this is a complete game changer. And if you guys are familiar with what it's like to actually hire editors for your projects, then this could save you anywhere between one and $3,000 per month on its own, just by using Submagic to edit your short form content for you. And again, you guys can use my discount code Mike10Off down below to get 10% off if you actually want to try this for yourself and really boost your content game here and save an insane amount of time every month. But once again, the same way that we set up our credential for HeyGen, we're going to be doing the same thing here for Submagic.
manager. You're just going to make sure that you have a generic credential, a header auth, and then for your credential, you're just going to want to make sure you once again paste in your API key from Submagic. Make sure you name it x-api-key just like before. And if you want to find your API key, all you're going to do is come up to your name up here in the right corner, go to account settings, and then just hit API here. Now for our JSON body, there's only going to be two things for you to really change here. But aside from that, everything will be ready for you to go. So number one, for video URL, you're going to simply paste in your URL from your Google Drive where you saved your video to. Then number two, you're actually going to create a webhook here in N8N, which I'm going to show you in a second, and then paste the production URL right here where it says webhook URL. And this is what's going to be receiving the final result from Submagic. And of course, down here, AI captions are on, and you want to make sure that Magic Zoom and B-Roll are also on so you can take full advantage of Submagic's features here. Now, you guys might have noticed this mini automation that I had up here in the corner, but this is where this is going to come in now. So I just created a brand new webhook here to receive the result from Submagic. And for that webhook URL that you saw in our last node, you're going to simply click production URL and just paste this directly into that field there. After that, we're going to be grabbing our URL from Submagic of the finished video here. And this is going to be a simple get request here but if you have any errors with this you should still have your video created in Submagic so because you made that request you should still be able to come in here and pick up your video the last step in this entire automation is to just save that video to your drive and you could either put it in the same folder as your HeyGen video or, or you could create a brand new folder for your fully edited videos just to keep everything organized here but essentially if you guys download the template that I have in my free community down below and you get all your credentials set up here most of the hard work here has already been done for you so if you're somebody who's been either interested in creating Instagram Instagram Reels or short form content, wants to grow a real estate brand online but doesn't actually want to be on camera or hire an editor, then this is going to be a complete game changer for you if you really dial this in. Now that's about all I wanted to cover in this video. Hopefully we're able to stay around that 15 minute time limit for the video. But if you made it all the way to the end, I appreciate you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video, then consider dropping a like and a subscribe down below just to let me know that you want to see more videos like this in the future. And before we hop off here, check out the links in my description to number one, check out my free school community if you want to get some help adopting AI for your business with Without the headache so you can start saving five or more hours every single week. I'll give you all the tools and the resources that you need to do that. And of course, it's completely free. And number two, if you want to go check out Submagic and get your 10% off, I have my discount code down below for you guys to check out. And third, if you actually own a business, if you're a real estate pro and you want some help with your AI strategy or to build out a system like this for yourself, then go ahead and hit link number two down below to book a one-on-one -on -one call with me so that we can have a chat about what AI could do for your business. But with all that said, thank you guys again for watching. I hope you enjoyed this one. I hope you got some value out of this. And with all of that, said, I will catch you all in the next one.